So I'm going to start with cleaning all the mating surfaces on all these parts and then probably getting all the grooves and stuff. Clean that all out with some uh, engine degreaser or something along those lines. Okay, now this cylinder's all clean. Cleaned out the exhaust port here. And where the ray valves go in, and kind of just cleaned out the cylinder. Just getting them less dirty, and I'm gonna send them out to get bored over. This one still needs to be cleaned. Obviously you can see the difference. I clean up all the mating surfaces and stuff too. So I'm gonna move on to this one. Um, I'm going to find some parts to need to still order a cylinder head. Okay, now we're going to clean up all these parts. This is the uh, flywheel housing. This is the PTO coupler, and then this is the actual flywheel itself. Um, the cover was cracked, so it looks like some water got in and it got a little rusty, but we're going to clean all this up. We're going to clean this up. Um, probably pop the seal out, I think. The kit I'm getting comes with a new one. If not, we'll get one, but yes, yeah, so we're going to clean all these up. Okay, now I'm going to take apart these ray valves and clean these up because they're all gummy and these need to be trimmed up when they do the honing. Uh, this one's kind of got a chip out of it anyway. It's a little marred up from that piston. I don't know if you can see it. So, it needs to be trimmed up anyway, but I'm going to take this apart, clean this all up, and then figure out what goes bad on these. I know, like, they, I think they sell rebuild kits for this, but... I'm not sure what what would happen if it's actually bad or what it looks like. So here we go. So how I think these come apart is this 
spring comes off, which holds this on. That comes off. And then I'm, oh, and that just pops off like that. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. Pop this off. Pop this bellow off. I'm gonna clean all this up. I just have them soaking in this jar of uh, some degreaser. I'm gonna let it soak for a little bit and then kind of scrub the carbon off. soaking in here clean these up a little bit with degreaser and um, the 4 out steel wool just to kind of clean up the surfaces too because these are gasket surfaces so I want to have those cleaned up um, I clean out the inside There's still a little bit of stuff around the slip I don't know if you can see that but I'm gonna try and clean that as best I can. Um, now I just have to clean out these uh, bellows, make sure there's no tears or anything. I noticed that when I was doing a little bit of research and watching some videos, the newer models of these engines had another sp spring ring down at the bottom here, as well as at the top. Um, I think I'm just gonna use a small zip tie um, just because mine doesn't have them and I can't find the small springs online anywhere. I'm able to find the large ones, but not the small ones. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a zip tie for that. But I'm going to clean these up too. Make sure those are in good shape because you can buy new bellows. Uh, after doing a bit of research, I heard that these red ones are better. So if they're st still good, then I'm going to reuse them. Maybe try and put something on there to keep it hydrated. Um, because I th they sell like green ones now, I think, and they're a lot stiffer than these, so they say that these are better quality. Soaked them in degreaser for a while and then scrubbed it off and then soaked them again and kind of tried to get all in the nooks and crannies and stuff. So this one looks good, but the, I have to send them in with the uh, cylinders because when they get bored out, they have to trim these back. So I'm going to send these out. They just want the blades, so um, I'm going to send these, the um, cylinders here, and I believe that that's it. 